Welcome to our Qubit how-to video series. Qubit is the natural estimator solution for a wide range of construction professionals, from quantity surveyors and commercial builders, through to residential builders and subcontractors. In this video, I'll show you how to use internal referencing. Internal referencing can help to convert quantities, calculate totals from multiple items, and we'll also use the TSUM function which can help with getting data for insurance and contingencies. So let's get started. I've pre-made the job for today's demonstration and have moved around the various windows in Qubit as we'll only be needing the viewport and the estimate. As you see in my estimate I have a number of trades all laid out with takeoff in all and there are a number of items in the quantity column that are in orange. These results are being returned based on the value of a calculation using internal referencing. And we're going to go through them individually to show you how they work. Each of the references that I'm about to show you can be brought to your own estimates and can be combined together to create larger mathematical functions. Let's start with the example that I've already selected, our external brick walls. As you can see, I've already taken off the external walls and come up with a result of 486 square meters. We're going to use internal referencing to calculate how many bricks are in 486 square meters. Now, there are a number of ways we can achieve this, but by using internal referencing, we can create a separate line of data that is also reportable also chargeable if we needed it as well. The process is very simple. I'm going to delete the quantity out of this cell and we'll work it together. The first thing we'll need to find is the actual reference code for that cell. Now these reference codes here are unique identifiers for this line of data within this job. So we can find out, using internal referencing, the quantity of bricks by entering a simple formula. We're going to type the at symbol. We're going to type the reference code for this line of data, CB1. And then we need to indicate the quantity is the cell that we're actually looking for. The power of internal referencing means we can actually reference any cell. By default, it will look at the cell that you are already in, but we could be looking at the rate. And now we'll reference the rate across. We could be referencing the total and do a calculation based off that. However, to find out the number of bricks, we will be looking at the quantity. As you see at the moment, we're simply referencing the data that's already in there. So we'll need to make an adjustment to this cell to find the number of bricks. Let's assume that we have 52 bricks in a square. So we'll simply times that reference by 52 to bring us to 25,272 bricks. Now both of these cells are now intrinsically linked. If I were to make a change to the external perimeter, the quantity of bricks will rise at the same rate as the square meters of my external wall. We can use that same functionality to simply add two cells together. You'll see down further in my estimate, we've taken off our external wall frames and our internal wall frames. And I'd like to know what is the total square meters of framing in this job either for ordering purposes or for internal uh, reporting purposes. I've created a brand new line, total framing, and used an internal reference, adding cell CB23 to cell BT15. It's highlighted in my estimate. 
bringing us to a total of 700.61. Now to break down the actual reference here, you'll see here we've got ES dot the reference. ES means estimate sheet, our reference snap code, and then the actual location of the data we're trying to calculate. Let's try something a little bit more complex. We'll scroll further down our estimate. We've taken off all of the walls we'd require for our internal paint. We've come up with nearly 4,000 square metres. But we'd like to know how many 10 litre tins of paint do we need to order to cover that amount. We can use internal referencing to do exactly that. So let's run you through what this equation actually means. We're saying that we're going to round up the result of what's inside these brackets. And what is inside these brackets is our BT67, which is the takeoff of our interior paint, divided by 14, if we can get 14 square meters out of a liter of paint, then divided by 10 again. We're also going to add 10% wastage by timesing it by 1.1. We've come up with 30.8 10 litre tins. So logically we would round that up to 31. We can also use internal referencing to work out the tonnage of our steel. We've taken off the reinforcement with an N36 deformed bar using our length by setter result type and come up with nearly 3,000 linear metres of steel. But we'd like to know how many tonnes that is for our ordering. Once again, we can use internal referencing. We'll follow the formula up above. We're going to round up our estimate CB6 dot quantity, which is our takeoff line, highlighted here, timesing by 8.19, which is the constant for our N36 deformed bar, then dividing by 1,000 to bring us to our tonnes. We have 23 tonnes of steel in 2,700 linear metres of deformed bar. Now that constant is also found within Qubit. If you follow up to the top right here, there are a number of constants inserted into the software. We can even search for N36 deformed bar. And our value is 8.19. You can add your own constants into Qubit as well if you're dealing with different measurements and different conversions. You'll notice below we've also taken off some mesh sheeting using a similar function. Obviously in this job we are mixing in and matching the different types of meshes we have. However, we would like to know how many sheets of mesh we need after using the length by center result type. Once again, we're using referencing to do that. We're going to round up whatever quantity we come to, and then we're going to divide our taken off quantity by the size of our sheets, 4.2 meters by 2.6 meters. We're also going to add another 10% wastage. And that brings us to 30 sheets. So as you can see, there are a number of different ways that you can use internal referencing to recalculate or to find new quantities within your own estimate. Let's have a quick look at the TSUM function. The first thing I'm going to do is go to our trade summary view. We'll open up our allowances at the bottom here and you'll see I've got two lines, one that says allow 5% for contingency and a builder's insurance of 2.56%. Both of the rates are displaying the same but our totals are different. And that's because we're using the quantity column to drive this equation. But what is the equation? This is the TSUM functionality of the software. And what we're effectively doing is adding the totals of these trades, as witnessed up in our formula, dividing by 100 to find 1% of our job and then using the quantity column to drive it back to 5%. By using this functionality, you have control over all the elements in your estimate, and you can also add new trades within your estimate. 
and have your allowances automatically calculate on the fly. As the T-sum function is finding all trades within a given range. So let's work this T-sum function together. First, in our cell, we're going to type T-sum. We want to open our brackets and type in at, and then the name of our first, and then the location of our first reference code, which is BT6 for concrete. comma, another at symbol, we want to find the second last in this case, trade, which is BT42, and then divide that by 100. It's important to remember that we have ignored the total for this trade, as we don't want to create a circular reference in the system. We're only looking for contingencies of the active trades above. So as you can see, internal referencing is a very powerful and useful feature for helping you get the most out of your estimates. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos for more great tips and tricks on how to get up and running with your estimates. And remember, we're here to help. You can contact our support team or visit our knowledge base online for more information that will help you using Cupid. Happy estimating.